All right. Welcome back to another stream. Uh, it might look a bit different this time. Um, so I'm excited to check out this custom map. You can find it on the workshop. It's created by Duck Lord on Steam. And yeah, it's more of a, like a platforming focused challenge. Just try to get to the top. Inspired by Jump King. So, you know, there's the threat of like falling all the way back down and losing all your progress. Sounds fun, so decided to check it out. There isn't any music that plays, so I think I'm gonna just play some Rain World music in the background. Although, I don't know how audio really balanced. How's the volume on that? Getting over it, yes. This is just the the downpour OST playlist on YouTube. But yeah, we're gonna try to get to the top of this stream. Not exactly sure how long it is. Apparently it's supposed to take like a few hours. That depends on what's the difficulty of the the difficulty of this whole thing and how many times I might fall down. I've already seen the first like few screens. I, don't, I have no idea what's past that. Also, because of the, well, I don't, I don't, I don't know how exactly the mods interact with each other. So I only have this, this um, custom map enabled, and a few of its requirements. So I don't have remix mode on. That removes things like wall pounces. Not exactly sure which way. Like, I think I can make this. Yeah. I guess that just skips the going around the side. And also, they said that, that it, the, the creator of this map said that it doesn't work well with, <clears throat> with the with downpour. The, or specifically the, the more slug cats expansion. Not that it would be very balanced with another slug cat, so it seems to be based on just the base survivor's move set. Oh. Like this would this would be very easy as the artificer, for example, or the rivulet. Yeah, you can do that if you wait a minute to jump. Don't wait that long, though. You know, actually, let's try going around this other side. Ah. Hunter does have slightly faster movements than Survivor. Higher jumps and basically all all of your movement is multiplied by a small amount. So this would be easier as Hunter, I suppose. For once Hunter being the easy mode. Ah, can't seem to make that jump. Slug King Gamer in five hours. Well, hopefully it doesn't take that long.
You have to really delay this jump, but or I could try to do something like this. Or maybe this. Hey, that, that actually worked better. Don't really do this kind of jump in base game that often. If you go a little too fast, then you just fall off. You can also just skip it that way. CTV, I don't know what that is. I there's the Rain World community really likes their abbreviations for things. Crawl turn vault is it the thing that I just did? And I jumped right over it. Oh, is it that jump where you like crouch and then you you jump like way higher with like precise timing. So I've tried to do that move before, but it seems like unreasonably precise. And also, you yeah, just have to do a lot of inputs really quickly. This jump seems pretty hard. Oh, great. Yeah, I'd rather just skip that whole section by going over here. With two hands on the arrow keys. Is there actually an iterator at the top? I guess we'll find out. Maybe. Okay. I haven't been able to get this. I assume that you need a slide pounce here. I don't think you can. Well, you can. You might be able to get a roll. You do this. Although I'm not very good at it. Like that. Okay. Well, I, I got the roll, but I think I was too close. That probably go further than a, a slide pounce. Charge pods at the very edge, like this, this far of the edge. That doesn't really seem close, and you just go lower down if you're on the sloping part. Oh, threat music.
I could try to like. There's not really. You can't start a roll with a back foot. I have no idea how to do this roll. Kind of just kind of wiggle around and it might start eventually. Okay, that wasn't a full distance. Supposed to be the hard part. Or I could do this. No, that's not even close. Oh, all right, we're back here now. You know, I, I kind of just missed this area. You know, I spent a little bit too much time up there, and just wanted to see what the lower areas looked like. Phobia. Sometimes that jump gets a lot more height than normal, so there's probably a more precise timing that I'm not consistent at yet. And we're back. Back here again. Not full distance. How's it going? Well, I have yet to get past this screen. So it's going great. Not exactly. <laughs> yes, I do remember you. That's not even that close, unless that isn't a full distance. There's something I'm missing here. Like, can you just pounce from the very edge? What is this song? On to a new dawn. Half of these I've never heard before in game. Compared to what will be at the end, sounds very exciting. I wonder if you could also just fall. Good job. If you slide too far, you just end up sliding off the slope there. There we go. Alright, so, so a charge pound stuff works there. 
and do one of these again. Or... I'll just do it off this pole. Okay. We screen half of it's off the corner of the... This looks fun. I didn't, I didn't... For a second I didn't see these poles from the ceiling. How, how would you do it then? So now there's a threat of falling down all the way back to that jump. Unless I just did it now. Nope. Can make it back up there. Most of this movement is never used in the base game. There's, uh, there's sometimes parts in like Sky Islands where you have to make a tough jump. Oops, let's not fall down. Poles can be a bit slippery if you move too fast. Not your ring. jumps. <laughs> well, I somehow grabbed onto this even from that speed. Alright, gotta do this jump again. I think at least I know the strategy for it. I should also keep in mind like which direction to hold if I do fall down. Cause sometimes you you manage to end up exactly falling down even further than normal. off that platform. You know, I haven't really played these kind of games, like Getting Over It or Jump King. So this is, this is kind of my first experience with the very difficult platformer where you may fall down at any moment just from walls, one small mistake. But I was thinking of the possibility of a map like this for Rain Worlds, because I think the the complexity of the move set isn't exactly taken advantage of in the base game, which is good. It wouldn't make sense to require your players to learn all this crazy stuff. But it also kind of justifies actually having learned this. It feels a bit less useless. Also, the song is really good. There aren't any spoilers. I wouldn't know, but I don't. I don't think there are, and none of this is canon anyway. Just a custom map created by someone. It's 
come on Tuesday if there are spoilers. Nothing for the campaigns, all right. Not exactly sure how to do this, but. Well, that seemed to work. Do the same thing for this. Yeah, I'd like to see these kinds of movement maps for all the slug cats with their different movement abilities, because this is still just base game survivor movement. Rivulet's movement is so much, so much faster in every way that, oh, I actually did make it up for a second. This kind of map would have to be scaled up like twice as big to still be the same kind of challenge. You don't know how to get past the start in Gourmand. Yeah, that can be a bit, oh, I made it up again. That could be a, dip, a bit difficult starting in shaded. Well, I'm gonna start using. And I slipped. Could probably just make it over. I guess there might be music spoilers if you want to hear all of the OST yourself, because this is just music from Downpour. Yeah, YouTube chat is a little bit more active right now. So you're kind of the only one on Twitch. If you want to watch on Twitch, I'm streaming there too. They're on there and YouTube. You can be on whichever platform you prefer, or whichever one has a more active chat if you just want to hang out with other people. Although, I don't really have anything interesting set up on Twitch. Try to watch jump back to the other side. Yeah, you can use uh, abbreviations for the for the region names if you don't want to spoil them. There's spiders and you have arachnophobia. Yeah, that's not good if you start off in when you start off in shaded as Gormon. Ideally you would you should make a lantern and some flashbangs, because flashbangs uh, the like glowing blue things, they immediately kill all spiders in a room. And from Gormon's starting position, if you just go that kind of works better. If you just try to go to the to the right as far as possible, you'll end up in shoreline. Or you can go from shaded all as high up as you can get, and then as far to the left you can get, and you'll end up in industrial. Okay. Ah, uh, I made it up. And Lift back down. Pretty much how this is gonna go, I imagine. This is threat music um, that plays under some different conditions, so I haven't heard it that often.
Gorman can probably deal with spiders the easiest out of all the slug cats. Just because he can make flashbangs so easily. Well, there we go again. Stuck in that water drop for at least 30 cycles. By the way, I'm looking at chat on my phone, and I can so I can only see like three chat messages at once. I might miss a few if it too many people are talking at the same time. I'm kind of trolling. This is a really good song too. How'd I get past this? Okay, there we go. Um... All right, I thought that might be a little bit more difficult. I see that shaft on the left side. I'm definitely gonna fall down on that later. Also, YouTube chat is quite a bit more delayed. I could try to change the setting to make it faster. Although, I don't know if I can do that midstream. No, I can't change it. So there's there's quite a long delay. Exactly, start a roll. Get this little space against the wall like that. Do I have my Twitch linked anywhere on my YouTube? It's in my channel's about page, if you want to view on Twitch instead. Or you could just look on, like, Rain World's games on Twitch in general. You can look through a few of those and find it eventually. Is it broken? Okay, I have way too many tabs open. More than I usually do for streams, because I also have one open for the music. Okay, I guess it's doing fine. I don't really need to backflip for that long. Okay, that also works pretty well. Oh no, this map. Well, I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, I don't know if that's possible. Should I have rolled onto this? Well, try that next time. So much trouble remembering how to store jumps and momentum. Well, jump storing... I have no idea how that works. Because it, it seems like such a... Like, 
in these situations where you might actually want to use it. You can like do that and then like if you slide out of a pipe it uses your jumpers, I have no idea. But storing slides is pretty useful. Or turnarounds. Storing turnarounds like this, it can give you a speed boost. Use it like that. I have actually noted, or I've discovered a, an actually useful way to to make use of stored jumps, which is as the rivulet, because you can slide, you can start to slide so much faster. You can store some jump boost and then get up and immediately slide, and the slide pounce you will do afterwards goes significantly higher. Okay, there's a platform here to catch me, at least. Okay, I think I could have made that if I jumped, climbed up the ledge faster. Like that. that jump back. Sometimes you just kind of plant your face into the wall. So much jumps so high that you went off screen. Yeah, as long as that happens. I imagine that tech where you can like... Something where you like store jump and then you like hold back and jump. Whatever that crouch store jump, whatever it's called. I would like to see what that looks like as the review though. I'm gonna try a different strategy for this jump because it's, it's, there's not enough space to get a roll. That could work. Grabbed onto it for a second. Complaint. but then flip back down. Sometimes this weird thing happens where you, you're climbing up a, a platform and then you, if you turn back around, it kind of like sends you down really fast. It makes gravity higher somehow. That might be something done to that kind of keep you stuck to the ground when you climb up a ledge, but if you fall off the ledge, then you and I get sent flying. I wonder, hold up, let me try this too. I think this is mostly just useful for distance and not really height.
Yeah, but I, I'm finding that turn storage using torn. <clears throat> turn storages are quite useful though. Or just doing turnarounds like that. <laughs> I felt that. Way. Just wiggle flights? Yeah, let me just fly up this whole thing. Let me just like open up the tasks. Or if you had an item, you could... Actually, there are some fruit in the starting area, so you could technically use that to... to climb up the wall on the left side. If you can reach the fruit, though. I don't know how to do that. Oh! Come on, I messed up the fight again. Okay, if I if I wait to jump a bit after like falling off the edge there, then I get enough distance or I get enough height. Back here again. Oh, come on. Did a wall jump instead of climbing up. Fast fall is good for diving. I haven't thought about that before. But that does make sense. If you want to like fall into or get as far down into some water as possible. Making things complicated. But I don't see how else you're supposed to make like half these chunks. There's not enough space there to make that jump. A speedrun of this would be cool. I think there is someone did speedrun this already. I think they did it in like 25 minutes. Which is crazy considering how long it's already taken. Oh, I don't know how much progress I've made. Looks like I can make it up there. Kind of looks possible. Yeah. Guess I'll just do that instead. supposed to climb up this. Unless you're not supposed to climb up this. Don't want to spoil all the strats. Hmm. A couple of mistakes. Yeah, it's still quite difficult. I imagine that. Like, no one's gonna... No one's done this perfectly yet. Try to beat his record. Yeah, good luck with that. It might be possible to make it up on the other side, but doesn't seem like that goes anywhere. Oh, that was promising. Yeah, doing a charge bounce there. I 
I just wanted to try doing it again, that's all. Alright, so now there's the chance of falling down this left side. Yeah, some, any way of jumping out of that gets you at least to like facing upwards so you can climb up the block. That's a bit tense. Another one of these jumps. Oh, music. This is just like when you enter chimney. Best song. Okay, what is this? Is this a It's not even a, a solid block. Oh, it is though. Just didn't show up on the map for some reason. This room looked different for you. It might be because of the... shelter there. I'm thinking this might be like a checkpoint, although it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole, you can fall down the whole thing. Although I don't think this jump looks very possible. Yeah, that compounds you. Peek of that next 
considering. Oh great, this looks fine. Hello? Okay. The room was different. Well, this I think this is a different version because I was having some problems with the other version that's just on the workshop. So I got this other version that was that fixed the problem, but that might mean different rooms. It also just could have been updated since then. Okay, that might have skipped something. Oh great. At least there's that pole there. If there is a shelter there, then I'm just moving past it. I can't get to it now. This is where I have difficulty spacing out the distance of a max roll pounds. Oh wow. Can I stretch out a bit there? Yeah, I know that this isn't intentional. I kind of want to go this way instead. Also, hold up. No, that's part of the song. I haven't gotten very good at doing this. Alright, I got a bit of fall damage there, but we're good. I don't think that jump is possible. I kind of got close to doing it a few times. But also this jump feels a bit dangerous. That's why. But also falling isn't doesn't lose me that much progress. Unless I do that.
Okay, I forgot to do this for some reason. What? I think I'm touching the slope and then it's messing it up. Hello? I mean, I know this isn't how you're supposed to go this way. But I was able to do this just fine. Just a normal pounce. All right, I'll try that. I also would really rather not go to that other side. Much worse jump there. I might want to look into the basics a bit more. Okay, you keep saying that that I'm using too much, too much tech. But I'm just not entirely confident with the upgrade, oh with the, the distance that normal jumps can get. Also, I thought that this is supposed to be a difficult custom map, where you know you're kind of expected to use some of the more obscure tech in the game. Okay, I really can't do this. The big jump. Yep. Alright, that one. Can I just do this? Nope. That's blocked, huh? Oh, come on. Yeah, I... That's, like, one thing that I really don't like. When you try to fly on a wall, and you're facing the wrong direction, you can't wall jump off of it. It happens all the time as Artificer, when you do your double jumps, because it sends you spinning around. Okay, you can kind of adjust it like that, but that's kind of risky. made it back here. That's a bit close. Oh goodness, what is going on? Normal pounce there. <laughs> I'm trolling.
jumped a bit too late for that. I never know when to press jump when climbing up a ledge, or to just hold up. Oh great, this is the same thing but with more stakes. Luckily I did it first try. Okay, what is going on here? Just different different ways to go up there. Like just a lot of, a lot of different ways to go up here. Go charge hopping and read. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> good thing there's a pole here. Totally would have fallen down. Oh, great, this again. There's a there's a way to climb up these in there. Well, that's that's one way to do it. Car chops? Like when you when you do this? Or are you talking about something else? The way the way you're talking kind of makes it sound like there's some fundamental movement that I've I've just been like totally missing out on this whole time. But I'm I've gone up here, so I don't, I don't know. Also, the clouds in the background are very nice. Also, yeah, that looks like a... Uh, one of those platforms you can't you can fall down. Did a little spin there, don't mind me. <laughs> I've been doing it the whole time, then what's the problem? It's just that I'm not using it as often. I'll try a turn around jump. Uh, that's not a turn around jump. You saw that, right? I kind of like slid up that wall for a second. Oh, great. I also fell down. Oh. 
Oh, goodness. Well, I have to climb up this again somehow. Because I don't really know how I did it the first time. Hacker. somehow. Crawl turn jump? Yeah, I know what that is. Also, it's uh, getting a bit windy up here. not much space on this platform and it's very easy to fall off. Yeah, whenever you turn around and you're in this animation, well, if I did it correctly, but when you're in the turnaround animation, I'm not exactly sure what the timing is to get the most speed out of it. Oh, great. I should slow down a little bit. Yeah, maybe jumping later is better. But I haven't really figured out the precise timing. If you mess it up, it's very hard to, to, to make it back without falling down. Maybe if I jumped earlier there, I could have climbed up. Also, I should stop doing that. I don't know if I've ever heard this song before. Still too early. Yeah, maybe I should delay the jump a lot more than I usually do. How do I do this jump? You just, uh, just charge pounce. My strategy for this this area is just to kind of press a bunch of buttons, and it might work. See, it worked then. <laughs> Maybe more consistent with the basics. I actually haven't really been good at movement for that long. Like I just 
Like, it was only maybe like a few months ago I really like looked into the movements of this game. And I got obsessed with like learning all the weird strategies and movement tech and stuff. As for just the basic movements, basic traversal stuff, I've basically just been... Just, that's just game experience, which I don't actually have too much of. And it feels like kind of a, a waste of time to practice tech that you that you do all the time anyway. Like, it's better to just play the game and to get experience with it. While as for the more difficult strategies that require more precise timing, like, I practice those more, more often. Like, I, I have no idea how far the ideal, like, charge jump goes. Because I feel like that's just, like, not really necessary. And most of the time in base game, you're just gonna... I prefer using throw boost instead. Like, roll, roll, pounce, throw boost jumps. That's what I usually do. Trashy on those one tile blocks won't work at the end. Uh, alright. Oh, yo, it's this song. Okay, I messed up the, the turn. You really have to commit to the... To making the full jump, and for that you need to actually get the turn around. I don't think it's possible to make it back up. If you mess up that jump. Are you referring to these blocks, or the ones with the, the satellite dishes? That, where my strategy won't work. Okay, that might have been too early of a jump. go. Okay, the screen. Okay, it's very easy to fall down those. Not exactly sure how to approach that. All right, and we're back down here. The the thing with those jumps is that those that one was close to the wall, so I couldn't like turn around and to face the right direction for that kind of jump. Okay, delaying that jump seems to work better. I would like to just make this... Oh, that's possible. Whoa, a little hop there. Oh, spooky.
<laughs> you better beat this when I, when I wake up. Not gonna, well, I'm not gonna stream for too long. Oh, great. Yeah, I should also try to figure out exactly how to fall if I, if I do. At least I'm getting better at that. You don't need to be paced in the right direction. Did the moment you looked away. Well, maybe it's your fault then. You ever thought about that? Nah, just, just kidding. Now that you're here, I can't make that jump. Oh, I could have made it back to that platform if I kept moving to the left. Is that if I if I hold to the left then I might not make it up the platform if I up the ledge if I do make it. This is the tree cycle. Is this room? Oh, just kidding. Back down here. Sometimes you just kind of fall off that one. Oh wait, wrong way. What's your music? What is this one? Oh, unused rap music. But does it only work if you your face in the wrong way? Yeah, maybe. I'm not supposed to send your face in the right way, huh? 
Okay, I need to, to actually make that jump. Oh wow, I flipped off the other side and started the backflip. off the other side again. How'd I do it? <laughs> I did it like three times in a row and now I can't seem to do it again. I'm going too far. Nope. I, I was... I always go the wrong way there. That feels close. I might be pressing jump too early once I make it up to the ledge. Like I might be able to slide up a little bit further before I try to climb up it. But it also seems like I've already started falling by the time I get there. So it's better to jump to jump as soon as possible.
Oh, there we go. Okay, I kind of went inside that block for a second. And down we are again. I almost started moving back too early. Okay, I didn't even know what that was. I tried to keep the momentum of moving upwards into that jump, but it ended up just not giving me any time to move to the left. And we're down here again. Too bad at sleeping. Welcome back. It's on the screen. Oh, all right. Well, thanks for showing up because I made that jump. Time to just mess this up again. I need to jump there. This is kind of a checkpoint. It's a bit harder to fall down after this point. See, every time you leave, I actually make the jumps. Man, nah, I'm just kidding. You, you can stick around. Hmm. What's up with this? Possible to make that even? Oh, I see there's a pole on that side, except how do I get over there? Wind? Was there wind here? Oh, uh, is there supposed to be wind? 
that I can actually make these jumps. possible like this. Yeah, these jumps don't seem... Maybe because of the version I'm using. Well, the other one that I tried, it just crashed the moment I entered the, the region gates. It's impossible without CTVs. Okay, hold on. Is that... Is that like what your what's this platform look like? Were you like do that or something? If it's if it requires if it's the one where it's like you have to hold back for four frames and then up for two frames and then jump and then something like that because I can't do that I've tried it before and it doesn't not work I leave well okay it probably works but I can't do it all right I mean even if I manage to get up onto this platform I don't think I could go anywhere from that. There's supposed to be wind for like this whole section, or is it just like one jump where there's wind that influences you? Need to, need to get the most recent version of the map? Well, I just like... Hmm. Okay, hold up. I'll keep this on. I can use, if dev tools work, I can use those to get back up here. But um, I guess I'll have to restart. If um. Okay, I did something, and it might have it might have changed. I don't know. It might be working. This or this might have done something. There's no wind past that screen. Hmm. Is it back up? Hold up. Uh, I guess I'll just have this. So this is this is the version that I got with no extended gates, and this fixed the problem that I had, where it broke immediately. I can have them both enabled, and it might work.
Okay, do dev tools work? Yes. Oh. Also, the this gate might be a bit loud because there's no remix option to, or there isn't the remix option enabled that reduces their volume. Okay, I might just like try not to go too fast up this. So I could kind of skip. Goodness. Is the camera moving? It's kind of janky using this. I did it. Fixed anything? Um, hmm. Well, nothing's changed. I could try. If I made it. Whoops. If I made it here, right? Well, it doesn't really look like I can. Oops. Usually, what? So, what would the what would the wind usually look like if it was active? What would I what would I do from this point? And also, is is there more wind? This very hard part. If you I if you want, I could try to. to to like um, update the the mod. It needs another mod. Well, I have I have gotten some other. Yo, I completed the expedition. It needs a mod, which needs another mod. Yes, I got both of the the like dependencies. Unless you're referring to something else. There's a lot of wind. Well, I'd rather not skip the entire... See, these, these are what I have enabled. This, this is what happens when I don't, when I don't have that other one enabled. I could try reinstalling both of them. Try the fixed version again. Yes, I could do that.
Um, what? Okay, from that part where the wind starts, or where the wind is supposed to start, like, how far into that, into the map is that overall? Like, is that like a halfway point, or... Or is that closer to the end? So you have to enable that other mod for this this to work. Oh gosh, it kind of freaks out sometimes. mouse on the screen? I don't think so. Okay, let's see if it's fixed. If it's not fixed, then I guess I'll just stop. Stop the stream. See if I can fix it and continue from here later. Damage completed half. The easy half? Okay. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like there's anything. Well, I guess I'll, I'll end the stream. If I can't continue, skip this wind part. Well, you said that it continued for a while, right? Is there supposed to be... Hold up. Is there supposed to be wind? Okay, here's a shelter. Like, anywhere past this this area? Playing. So the wind was all, would only be in this room. Also, there's a spear here. Okay, well, I'll just continue. If I find a way to re-enable the... Or to get the wind to work, then... I guess I'll... I'll retry that section. Hold up, let me test something. Oh wait, I can't with the tools anymore. Okay, maybe it doesn't work with mold. Okay, I will continue into this section for a bit. Um, and I probably won't complete it all this stream. And I'll try to fix the wind next time. Like, there's already been a lot of updates to this map in the past few days, so maybe that'll be fixed. Whatever problem I'm having with it. I get to stay in a shelter. 
So this is technically part of progress if you ignore that last turn. But apparently this is the, the fun part. Oh, unless it crashes right now. I guess I can't take that spear with me. I could try using a charge bounce here if I turn around somehow. There we go. Could have used the fruits in the tutorial room. Oh, you could also climb up on the other side, but it looks like it's mirrored. You can't make that. Oh, great. Like the face the other direction there. Or I can just turn around like that. Great. I didn't, didn't jump high enough there. fall back down after you successfully make it up to very important part I didn't want to turn around there. More difficult to be facing the other direction. Oh. Remember to fall back down again for the second time.
Better to... Whoa. All right. Oh, come on. You're back to messing up that kind of junk. Um, I accidentally pressed the jump button there, and I also accidentally fell down there. to stand up there. This is a bit precarious. I'm supposed to make it onto that tiny one. All right. Okay, a little bit of progress. Oh, I actually did make it there. And again. more of these types of jumps around corners. Hmm. Oh. Maybe with the full length roll. Not not us falling down. That's not part of it. Well it's actually optional. If you, if you want to fall down you can you can go ahead and do that. But I, I wouldn't recommend it. Also, you're given this spear, which I have a feeling you're going to need it for like one specific... Oh, all right. Yeah, just slide down that wall. I have a feeling you're going to need the spear for like the very end, so you need to hold on to it. It would be interesting to see a map for the Spear Master. Considering that you're able to make your own spears, the map creator doesn't have to worry about you losing the, the spears that you're given. So you could make use of them in throw boosts or to climb walls. See the clouds again? Oh great, what are, what are these jumps? I think I'm gonna like hit my head on something. Oh, yo, hold up. Let's go. Best mechanic. Also, the music has stopped. Okay, hold up. I'll look at the... So I lose a lot of progress if I fall down at this point, especially on the left side. Hmm. Feeling bounce. Oh, 
Oh, great. It's also those jumps with the with the poles on the ceiling, which I'm not very good at. But the worst is that I'd fall back onto the ceiling of that other. That looks like a good place to make use of your fancy crouch turn whatever jump. You're like, you do this. Doesn't I'm not sure if this jump is possible. Or to the to the right there. this jump oh that was kind of close I don't think I'm getting the full distance from the full height from the from a roll unless that's just not, not how you're supposed to do it I just make it with a normal jump. Yeah, I guess you can do that. The intended way, yes, probably. That jump, well. Not exactly sure of what the maximum like. I'm not confident on the the distance like of a max roll pounce, so I'm not exactly sure how to space it. And I did I was able to make that jump. Um, that not like that. That jump is a lot easier if you don't do a turn storage. Sometimes if you let go at the wrong time, it messes you up there. Coyote time on a roll. Well, I messed it up there. Yeah, it seems like that timing is a bit rough. Kind of uh, jump later on a roll. Well, I don't need to use it here, but...
Hello? There we go. Yo, this song is also one of my favorites. I don't even know where it plays. <laughs> it feels like an, an Outer Expanse song. See, I can also just do that sometimes, but it's it's not very consistent. Okay, this jump looks even more ridiculous. Every every time I see these, they they don't look possible, but then they are. And and this too, although there's also. Pull on that other side. This looks like the same as the other jump, except more vertical instead of horizontal. Ah, great. They look hard, but then you find out that they're possible, you know. I always do CTV. Yep. Go ahead, if you... You can do that. You do it. I don't know how to do that though, so... It looks like I'd have to get to that pole on the right, either way. Really tempting to use the sphere. Yeah, I could use that very easily. That's not enough height to grab onto that. Yeah, the sphere would stick into the wall and I wouldn't be able to get it back. Oh, come on. I didn't even mean to do a backflip. I don't have remix mode enabled. I'm, I'm kind of assuming that I need the spear at some point later. Like, it's going to be necessary to use it. Okay, yeah, that does not seem very effective either. Okay, still can't really figure out how to do this. Unless I'm just messing up the timing and this is the right strategy. Our crouching could work better. 
Like that? That's that can almost work. Hey, hold up. Let's not fall off now. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to try doing this jump again. That's all. I feel like it, it might be better to try to pounce to the other side. Oh, okay, so if I if I fall off the edge there, then I just end up doing a backflip when I try to jump. <laughs> oh, pain. Luckily, it's not as easy to fall all the way back down when attempting this one. So it looks like trying to delay the the jump as far as possible helps, and to try to like kind of crawl off the edge for a bit. I like doing that, but with better timing. Ah, uh, well, back here now. Gonna fall off this point a lot. Very excited. Okay. Oh, and then there's this, these poles. This like plus shape that I have to jump onto somehow. Something like this for this one. Yep. That's not a problem. Get past the one hard jump. Oh, just kidding. I really want to. Tr yeah, I that that one hard jump. I, I just wanted to do it again. You know, I was talking about it, so it's best to you know explain visually. Like this is the hard jump that I was referring to. Not that I wanted to talk about anything else. Okay. That didn't take as long. Do a little, little spin there.
maybe there's something you have to do other than just pounce at the edge there. Yeah, I'd like this song a lot more if it wasn't like 10 times louder than every other song in the game. At least in the area where it actually plays. Oh, great. The the actual reason that I have this spear is to stab the iterator when I get to the top. Okay. That was better. Every time, every other time that I managed to pounce onto those poles, I felt like it was kind of just luck. All right, all right, all the way back down. Just wanted some variety, you know? Kind of a bit tired of doing that same jump over and over again. Oh, more threat music. that pounce a little bit further. Maybe take advantage of that coyote time if it exists. Not fall down further than this. I'm not getting the full distance roll for that. There we go. I never did figure out how to get up to the left or to the right side on this platform. This pulls over there. It's probably the way that you're supposed to go. 
but I like doing that instead. I like it so much that I fell down to do it again. It might be better if I keep crawling after crouching. Like if I keep the if I keep moving forward, maybe it transfers some of the momentum. So I can actually make that jump. I feel like the, the situations where you can do a either like a crowd or a turn storage or just just a regular turn around. I, it never feels like it really makes a difference which one you do. They both seem to work and they both have kind of the same timing. Although with just doing a turn around there might actually be easier. Oh that start playing. End of the playlist. A turnaround, just doing the turnaround there is probably a lot easier. Just kind of climbed higher than the pole. And I should slow down a little bit. So the chance that I just slip off once I actually do make the jump. I've never heard this song before. on the playlist though.
One of the trailers, yeah, I imagine. Same as the, the song I played before this one. Everything else in this area is fairly easy and it doesn't take too long for me to get through. And then I get to that one jump and it's like multiple attempts before I get through. Okay, I would like- I do have a question here. Is it just a regular pounce that I do at the edge of that platform? Is that all I have to do to get across? Like a pounce here? Or should I like, jump from higher or something? Oh, just kidding, I, I don't want it to fall down and stuff. Just a regular pounce? Or should I be on this slope? Because that might give me extra height. I feel like last time I did a pounce there and it didn't really work. Unless I just wasn't far enough. Or I messed up the timing somewhere. So I feel like if you if you pounce off of a slope it might might work better. So the risk of that happening. Yep. If I try to actually as far as possible, I end up doing that. I could have at least grabbed onto that. That pole. Yeah.
I always end up falling onto this block instead of the poles right above it. But of course, they're a lot smaller. That makes sense. I don't know at what distance you would bonk your head. If I, I feel like if I jump from too high up, then I'll I'll hit my head and it I won't make it. Down for OST is great. Of course, space game music is really good too. Okay, that was better. I feel like that went just that just went further than I my last attempt. This is the song I wanted to listen to. I assume that's why. That that nasty jump right there. This is going to play every time I get up here. I'm going to have to do a pounce here. This song is actually used in the game now, in the the pursued burden in expedition mode. I've heard it play at least once. Oh. 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 All right. You know, I did want to die from that. <laughs> I should have figured out where I should have fallen. Back down here. You know, maybe this is a good good place to stop. I can try to have to get through this section again. So 
I mean, okay, is that last that area where I fell from? Is that is it is that real close to the end, or is there like a few more screens after that? Because if I if I did a stream of that, I might make it back up there and and complete it fairly quickly. When this wind is still broken. He just came back and immediately see me dying. Yeah, I usually like didn't expect to die from fall damage, but from that high up it makes sense. I don't even think that's that hard of a jump. It kind of looks like the same distance as this one right here. Okay, and and if you say that there it's the hardest part of the challenge then. And plus even if I do complete it, I can probably find some other things to do to to fill up the rest of the stream. Mm hmm And also the threat the like the threat of falling is a lot worse. So it'd be better to try to land on these slopes, if anything, to try to aim for those if you fall down from that. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the stream here. Thanks to uh, everyone who came to watch and, you know, help out. I'll try to finish this map next stream. I definitely want to to try to do more like more custom maps, more you know mods and stuff in the future. It just so happens that this is the first one that I came across, and hopefully they keep getting released. So yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.